uh, taking into account the planetary challenges that we're facing as humanity, mm. why is it important to build resilience at the local level, social and community resilience? Well, every square meter counts at the planetary scale. So, of course, all solutions are local. The challenge now in the Anthropocene, the challenge recognizing that we have to have human development or world development within the safe operating space of planetary boundaries means that every transition town, every community, every company, every country needs to understand that local action must now be done in the context also of planetary boundaries which I would argue should be science-based targets for development. So even if you're a transition town aiming for the best possible sustainable trajectory for your community, to recognize what, what may I be victim of because of global change. I mean both climate change and deforestation and pollution, which means I have to perhaps invest even more in resilience because the turbulence comes from the outside. I'm a victim. But it can also be that I can play a very important role in influencing in a positive way the transition of other scales. What if I as a transition town become, you know, the example showing that a sustainability transformation can actually generate both healthier, sustainable, better economy, more attractive, prosperous, advanced lifestyles, which then can trickle over and give domino effects on other scales. And then, of course, fundamentally, every scale has a responsibility now to recognize that I cannot be unsustainable because it will hit my neighbors at other scales. So I would argue that today in the Anthropocene we have to live totally under the recognition that all scales count. Yeah, so you, it's very interesting because you were talking about the how to upscale on mm. this and how it's important. Mm. So, um, what do you think is the role of municipalities in order to build this social resilience? And why is it important to them? Well, municipalities is fundamentally where we as citizens kind of connect. Mm. We connect to the political sphere, we connect to the you know, to services, we connect to our own environment. So municipalities play an important role. It's kind of the lowest denominator of, of leadership, of execution, of management. It does play a fundamental role. What What is key though is that municipalities cannot live in isolation. They cannot uh, uh, do the the egoistic, unacceptable mistakes as President Trump does to claim that, you know, now we do our little scale first. I mean, the U.S. is almost behaving like a municipality, you know, now it's America first. Yeah. I don't care about you. We're going to live good short term and whatever cost it takes to the world at large, we don't care. That is an unacceptable behavior today. You know, 100 years back, it actually worked. You know, you could kind of be unsustainable at the yeah. municipal level and you could shove your externalities downwind or downstream and fundamentally nobody was hitting you back because there were no invoices. Today it doesn't work anymore. Every municipality has to take a responsibility for their downwind, downstream, upstream municipal neighbors. So, so I think the municipality is a fundamental scale of action, but it's also, again, something that needs to be done in the context yeah. of the planetary dimension. The challenges that we're facing. Obviously yeah, that, that, that's definitely. And it's, and it's very concrete. You know, often I, I get this question, yeah, but how doesn't that become too abstract? No, not at all. For example, mm -hmm. science shows clearly that to really be successful with the Paris Climate Agreement, mm -hmm. staying under yeah. two degrees Celsius, translates to a global carbon budget. Yeah. So it gives us a maximum 800 gigatons of carbon dioxide remaining to emit. Well, we emit 40 per year today, so 800 by 40 is 20 years. So yeah. we have 20 more years in a fossil fuel-based world economy. Does that matter for a municipality? Yes, because we have scientifically shown that to follow the pathway towards a safe future under 2 degrees translates to a global carbon law. Just like the Moore's law, it means halving emissions every decade. So. In 10 years time, by 2030, we have to half emissions from 40 to 20, and then from 20 to 10 gigatons, yeah. and then from 10 to 5. Now that can be scaled at a municipality. A municipality can decide tomorrow, that yes, we're going to take responsibility for the planet, so we're going to adopt the global carbon law, we're going to scale it to the municipality, which means that in my municipality, we will half emissions every decade. Yeah. And that is a very concrete plan of municipalities connecting to the planet you know in yeah. not, not only in kind of in, in kind of perception but in real action and then you can communicate this today I mean social media you can say you know we are a municipality have decided to decarbonize by 2030 and therefore we 
want to now communicate with the world that that is what we expect all our neighbors to do as well. And these successful experiences, they can really like be, I don't know, good examples. They can, exactly. Like, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And just the last one very quickly. Um, how do you think we could, we could build bridges of cooperation and work together between the practice, the action at the mm. local and municipal level and science and research academy? Mm. I think we, we really need to use modern technology to build global social networks, build a community for sustainable transformations, no doubt. We need to recognize that diversity is not only about biodiversity, it's also about cultural diversity and see this as an asset, as a capital for success. Therefore, respect between religions and cultures and dietary patterns and all our preferences. So to see diversity as, as one of our great assets for transformation success. And once we can break that, you know, the kind of hinder against this kind of respect to each other's diversity, I think we can use that as an asset. So combining digital networking with social diversity, I think, is the key for success and, and, and the kind of work that, that you're representing, I think is a, is a, you know, it's a very successful, important tool in that direction. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I think. Good. Thanks, I think they want to have yeah, a Yeah, I think, I think we, we were, yes, we have taken this space. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Yeah. That's great.